On February 6, 2018, the aerospace world witnessed a game-changer, Falcon Heavy's orbital flight. It was a jaw-dropping moment for everyone, including the brains behind Falcon Heavy. Fast forward five years and this beast of a rocket has continued to exceed expectations. Each mission it embarks on leaves us in awe, even those with the highest demands. And recent news suggests that SpaceX is on the brink of unveiling something game-changing with this very rocket. But before we dive into the details, do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Stay updated with all the electrifying developments from SpaceX, including the much-anticipated details on the Starship. This is a journey you won't want to miss. Falcon Heavy is the younger brother in SpaceX's impressive vehicle lineup, born after Falcon 1 and Falcon 9. Funny enough, this younger sibling turned out to be bigger and bolder than its elder kin. Taking cues from Falcon 9's design, Falcon Heavy introduced a distinctive feature twin side boosters flanking the core booster, amping up the thrust. Thanks to these additional boosters, the first stage of Falcon Heavy now boasts a total of 27 Merlin engines. This power boost, tripling that of Falcon 9, enables the rocket to soar higher, reach farther, and hoist heavier payloads than its predecessors. To put the numbers into perspective, Falcon Heavy can haul up to 63.8 tons to low Earth orbit, 26.7 tons to geostationary transfer orbit, and 16.8 tons to Mars. That's a whopping 2.5 times more mass than Falcon 9, scaling up to an impressive 1,420 tons. In the near future, Falcon Heavy is planning to introduce an additional extended fairing. This fairing is designed to accommodate a Centaur 3 and have ample space for payloads. It aims to directly compete with SLS for deep space payloads and is expected to offer launches at less than one-fifth of the cost. Falcon Heavy's design is also rooted in reusability, aiming for full reuse in most missions while offering flexibility for booster expandability when necessary. This approach ensures cost-effectiveness and sustainability in the world of space exploration. SpaceX has also just wrapped up a crucial static fire test of its Falcon Heavy rocket, all geared up for NASA's Psyche mission slated for liftoff on October 12th. The testing action went down at Launch Complex 39A of the Kennedy Space Center, following NASA's thumbs up after a thorough flight readiness review. Originally set for October 5th, the mission got a little push, extending our wait by a week. NASA shared that this delay was to ensure a thorough check of the Psyche spacecraft's nitrogen cold gas thrusters, vital for steering the craft across its massive 3.6 billion kilometers journey over the next six years in space. This mission marks the eighth voyage for the robust SpaceX launcher, a proud addition to its journey since its debut in February 2018. But hey, we've got a bit of a time cushion. The launch window stretches through October 25th. Fingers crossed, the excitement's palpable. But a delay wouldn't be a complete surprise given the history of Psyche's journey. Originally planned for last year, it faced a hiccup due to some flight software glitches. As soon as it rockets off, Psyche's destination is none other than its namesake, a mysterious 170-mile-wide metallic object hanging out in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Expected to arrive there in 2029, it's bound to treat us to some awe-inspiring visuals. Scientists suspect Psyche might be the exposed core of a protoplanet, its rocky outer layers stripped away by ancient impacts. Lori Glaze, NASA's Planetary Sciences Division Director is as excited as we are. I am so looking forward to seeing those first images. They are going to be spectacular when we finally get to see what this metal asteroid looks like up close. And let's give a nod to Falcon Heavy, standing tall as the second most powerful rocket in action today, just behind NASA's Space Launch System, until SpaceX's Starship takes center stage. While it hasn't hoisted a NASA payload just yet, it's proudly carried multiple U.S. national security missions under its belt. The Psyche mission is, of course, for those of you that don't know, a captivating journey aimed at exploring the Psyche asteroid, believed to be the iron-rich core of a fundamental building block in the formation of rocky planets. Think of it as a cosmic archaeology mission that could unravel secrets about how Earth and other planets formed their cores. This asteroid, a hefty 280 kilometers wide, will play celestial host to the Psyche spacecraft around late July 2029, locking it in with its gravitational embrace. Once the mission kicks off in August that year, the spacecraft will have a front row seat to observe the asteroid for at least 26 months. 
And get this, it's going to get remarkably close, just about 75 kilometers above the asteroid's surface at its nearest approach. During its epic six-year journey spanning a staggering 3.6 billion kilometers, the spacecraft will make a pit stop, swinging by Mars at a distance of 3,000 to 4,000 kilometers from its surface. It's like a cosmic road trip with a pit stop at the Red Planet. In NASA's 2022 report, they initially estimated the Psyche mission's total costs at $959 million. But as of September this year, Lori Glaze, the director of NASA's Planetary Science Division, revealed that it's now looking more like $1.2 billion. Now, shifting gears a bit, there's some exciting action in the realm of lunar exploration. NASA has unveiled a cool video showcasing their Viper rover prototype, gearing up for a lunar South Pole adventure in late 2024. This robotic explorer is on a mission to scout for ice and valuable resources on the moon. And guess who's hitching a ride? SpaceX's Falcon Heavy and Astrobotics Griffin Lander will be the cosmic chauffeurs delivering Viper to the lunar doorstep. And speaking of Falcon Heavy, there was a successful launch from Florida's Space Coast in July, proving its mighty prowess. This rocket is a force to be reckoned with, boasting 27 Merlin engines and three first-stage boosters, dwarfing SpaceX's Falcon 9 with its single first-stage booster and nine Merlin engines. After launch, the two side rocket boosters made an impressive return, landing back at Cape Canaveral landing zones 1 and 2 like the pros they are. But before NASA's Space Launch System rocket took the lunar spotlight last year, Falcon Heavy proudly held the title of the world's most powerful rocket. On the satellite frontier, Jupiter-3 completely dazzled with in-flight Wi-Fi, maritime communications, and HughesNet satellite internet across North and South America. This massive spacecraft weighs a whopping 9 metric tons and is a sight to behold, equipped with 14 solar panels spanning a towering 10 stories. It was built by Maxar in Palo Alto, California, and made its way to Cape Canaveral via a special Antonov commercial cargo plane. So it's safe to say that things are moving along quite nicely, or should I say, blasting off for SpaceX and the Super Heavy now. It might be a long while before we, the fruits of its effort, bear fruit, but it's an incredibly fascinating journey to follow regardless. That's all for the video, folks. Thanks for watching.